Welcome home, Rat Pack Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator and CEO of this channel also happened to make a guest star appearance in the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, Mutant Mayhem. That's a lot of guys. At first she went uncredited, but I fought for it. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. SpongeBob Target, camera flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter Rep Pack because your boy is here. And today, we're gonna be doing one of your guys' favorite series on this channel. We are gonna be going outside and we are gonna get to hunting. Trying to bring some stuff back here to the collection to add with you beautiful people. But right now, we are on the hunt for something in specific. We're gonna be looking for the sponge, of course, you know. I don't wake up any day without looking for the sponge in some way. But not just that, we are gonna be looking for TMNT Mutant Mayhem merchandise, anything cool that fits the bill. Of of course, you know, the only character that I collect when it comes to Ninja Turtles is Michelangelo. But usually that's a good thing about Ninja Turtles stuff is they usually make four of everything. Making characters color coordinated just sells. You know, Powerpuff Girls, the Power Rangers, Mario, Sonic. There's a lot of them. There's a you lot. Get, you get Teletubbies, Wiggles. Yes, the Teletubbies and the Wiggles also. But besides them, the Ninja Turtles. And Care Bears. <laughs> yes. And that has worked on me very, very well. And my favorite is the orange guy because... <laughs> <laughs> Obvious reasons. <laughs> so, we are gonna be going out there looking for Michelangelo. He's got the vibe that I love the most, too. So, let's go ahead and head into the car. We're gonna be going to Target and trying to find as much stuff as we can because the Mutant Mayhem movie's been out for a little while. So, this may be our last chance to get any of this stuff at retail before you have to start paying that resale price. So, let's hit the road here and see what we can find to bring back here to the collection. But, of course, we're looking for all the things we collect on this channel. But, I have a feeling that we should be lucky enough to find some TMNT stuff before it heads out. Okay, so we are pulling up to Target and look at the debris everywhere. There is leaves. Crazy. Hillary. We did have Hillary that came through. Not yeah, Rodham. They're not helping any over there. <laughs> we, don't need any, we don't need any more air out here. Okay, <laughs> leaf blower guy. And really, a leaf blower. But we did have Hillary that came through here. Not Duff. Lizzie McGuire would have been welcome. <laughs> but, but we did have the hurricane or a tropical storm. It was nowhere near as bad as the news was making it seem like it was going to be. But I just consider myself and Mitchell as well lucky. You know, I would rather know and have the news go crazy than there be nothing, than not go crazy, and then there be something really bad, you know? Yeah. So I'm kind of glad that we were at least prepared for it. Uh, I tried my best to prepare, and I think most people did. But thankfully, it ended up being pretty much just, I mean, just an average day of rain, pretty much. I mean, for the most part. I mean, more more rain, but not like anything crazy. But because of that, it's actually cool today. It's actually the first cool day in a long time. So I'm excited to get in there. I'm not sweating from yeah. 98 <laughs> to 100 degree weather. Let's go ahead and head side target and see what we can find. Okay, so we found that we're in the dollars section right now looking around. Mitchell found these fidget spinner things. They're really cool because you can actually put like different names on them and stuff. What do you got over there? Yeah, Patrick Star. I was literally sitting here trying to think of what we could do, like Nick related. All I came up with was stab. Uh, like, what? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> You got crow too, what the hell? You can get Raz. You can do rodeo for Sandy. You got a D. Or Chris. Shout out Chris. There's a lot of random ones though. All right, I got Root. Rooting for us to find something cool today. Oh, we did an Ocean Man. Oh, we did an Ocean Man. Damn, you're right. We have to just do it in our head. Ocean Man, Ocean Man, take me by the hand. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. They have Mutant Mayhem bath bombs actually we found immediately here. So we have Michelangelo orange here. We have a Raphael red one here. I'm gonna say, let's go ahead and get a Mikey one. I'm, and they're only a dollar, I think. We'll price check them, but if they're only a dollar, I'll get two of them. But I'm definitely gonna get one at least so we can try it out. I just am excited to see the color and how it comes to fruition. So this one's a Mutant Mango, AKA just Mango, but we gotta make it Ninja Turtles. Mutant. So Mutant. <laughs> Okay, so we're in the card stuff right now. We have the whole set of chibi in motion already, so we're not gonna pick those up. And I'm so mad, dude. The chibi snaps, they come with two in each container. I bought them back when they were like one each. That they sucks, get two yeah. in one container, but we have this set too, so we're chilling on this. Nothing else too crazy over here, like the collection section though. Hey. 
Okay, me and Mitchell also got the new Pokemon set of City and Flaves. Of course, I got the Eevee one right here. I just haven't found these sickest one with two Charizards and a freaking Tyranitar. Yeah, yeah, I looked through all of them because I think there's a new Charizard, which is this Charizard right here. So we're hoping, hoping maybe somehow we'll get to pull one of those guys. So I grabbed the two Charizards. Maybe they have one here and the other one here. That, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can know that's not going to happen. And Mitchell has it. So we're going to have our little pack competition and see who got better pulls here as usual. will probably be Mitchell, but I'm going to try my best. And you know what? We got three packs, two Charizard. I think this is my best chances. Okay, so we're over here in the drinkware and there's pretty much nothing. So far, it's been dry at Target. Last time, Target just blew us away with fines. But I mean, they have like random stuff here. They have like the Hulk. They have Frozen, which I guess is still the thing that's popular. We have Jurassic Park. We have a, just a general video game. This could be like a PlayStation or also an Xbox controller. <laughs> and then we have this guy right here, which is freaking, look at this, $20 almost. I mean, I don't know if it's the same one, but about this price, $20 at the lowest case, $12. We found this exact same bottle, essentially. This is not like insulated whatsoever. Almost the exact same bottle will show it on screen from Zach too. Actually, at five below for five dollars, and it's bigger. I mean, mm. this one they just give you a nice little lid. Yeah, whoa, whoa. That's whoa. the five, that's the extra like twenty bucks. Wow, this thing is definitely not gonna break or just harbor bacteria. It's definitely worth that. <laughs> but what's really cute is this bluey one. This one is probably the cutest one. I'm not gonna pick it up, but man, I would love to see a SpongeBob one like this Scooby Doo, TMNT. Even I'd be hyped, but they don't have anything crazy right now. They're sleeping. So now we are entering into the toy section, which is our best chances. If we don't find any thing here we might go to another target but not just that mitchell said that walmart has a lot of tmnt stuff in stock right now too so we could take a look there if not it might be its own video but let's keep looking around i mean they have so much stuff that's like look how much frozen stuff there still is like frozen spider-man minecraft that, that frozen helmet is pretty cool I gotta admit, that was pretty cool, the crown on it. <laughs> but it's crazy how much they have. But we need to see more TMNT stuff, more sponge stuff, you know? Like I said, my dream would be to them release a SpongeBob bike. Even a freaking <laughs> We got a frozen one. There's probably frozen waffles over there if we go look for them. Yeah, true. There's frozen everything, but would have expected, come on, at least a TMNT skateboard I would have expected. Dang, these ripsticks have gotten tiny. No, you've just gotten Oh, they're mini. mini. Never mind. <laughs> they're called the mini. What do you oh, mean? Okay. <laughs> I was like, maybe you just got a dollar. <laughs> I'd get this skateboard, though, for sure. <laughs> okay, see, so there must be a new Frozen 3 coming out soon or something. It's unreal how much Frozen stuff there is in 2023. Now this, I like. We have Leonardo in the turtle van. It's a little bit big though. Like this pop is kind of huge. Do you think there's a, there's a Mikey in the car or is it just Leo? I, I would think maybe just Leo. I mean, that would be a lot of pops that if they had every single character. I'm going to hold out on this one for right now. We'll get it. But if we find something else, that could easily get dropped. That's a big pop. It's mostly just because like when it comes to pops, you guys know I have like the expanded collection and you know, I want to collect stuff outside of the Funko Pop, so it's a maybe on this one for now. But that is the first thing we found, so I should just be happy that we found something, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. That's pretty sick. Oh, dude, nice one. Okay, that is a definite pickup. That is so damn cool. We have the TMNT Mutant Mayhem Nerf Blaster. I used to actually collect Nerf guns, and so now bringing it to modern day with my collection of Nickelodeon stuff, that is a win for sure. Like, to me, I love Funko, but that's a winner all day. Like, this is like, you know, there's a million Funko Pops. We have so yeah. many different Funko Pops, but this is like actually something that we don't see every single day here. And dude, I love the ooze slash slime handle on that. That was a nice find, dude. Beautiful piece here. I'm excited to add this one to the collection. Oh, dude, this is awesome too. Dude, the are you looking at the dragon like yes, I was? Dude, the dragon yeah, that was nerf. insane. That is amazing. As a Minecraft fan, that <laughs> is incredible. Why do I want to pick that up? But I would keep it sealed. That is too cool. Oh, I'm action man. Blast. We just need to come to the toy section. The toy section actually turned it up a lot better, man. The Minecraft dragon nerf gun is incredible. And again, no diss at Funko Pops. You guys know how much I love Funko Pops. I have so many of them. It's just that 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 kind of stuff like night and day to me as far as like what to collect though it's actually unique and it's fun it's a cool collaboration that you don't see every day oh it look they have nerf darts based oh off of the gosh, different colors so cool. it's ever yellow Who, who's I yellow splinter, i don't know <laughs> it's just to represent splinter or just their general turtle shells i i don't know in the yellow ones Dude, for 10 bucks i want this thing the little zumo the zumo <laughs> I that those. sounds awesome a hundred feet I don't think it'd go that far. Do you know how tall 100 feet is? That's like a, it's like 101 foot. So I'm almost 10, so it's I'm like- just, Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm standing at six foot three. So if you add on- Yeah, another, but- Another four feet, multiply that by 10. That's 
That's dude, hundreds. That is insane, dude. Look at this kid. He's got <laughs> braces. You know he knows what he's doing. Ten bucks. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, oh you can catch him? The Zumo catcher for only twelve. That one doesn't go to hundred feet. Yeah. <laughs> I think hundred feet all day is what I'm going with. Turbo disc launcher. That's incredible. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know what to get though. There's, there's so, so much. There's so many cool things. Okay, so there's this bus right here with all the oh, figures. Oh, dude, I see something you might like. Look at the making of Michael. Oh, with the little freaking Mikey. Okay, get that one. We're getting the making of Michael. What did you say, making Michael? Michelangelo, Mitchell. <laughs> the I gotta make it weird, you know? <laughs> the making of Mikey. We're getting this one for sure. <laughs> I just love them. But what am I? Okay, see, this one's sweet because you have them as a baby. You have them as a literally just a freaking, like a fetus with freaking spray paint on his back. They all glow in the dark. And it's Target exclusive, that's a for sure. But do I get the full-blown wagon right here? This is the actual bus itself. And it has a pizza launcher? Or do I get this one that comes with all of the figures that have the bus as a box, as a packaging? Ah, uh, I don't know. I would think about getting one of these, but we only got Raph and also Leo back there. I think uh, the bus is cooler display-wise. Let's take a look at the common figures and see if they're the same ones. So yeah, they're, looks like it. They're basically the same common figures. The Donnie is the same too. So I think my choice is gonna be the van because these figures you could get from the, by themselves. Just by themselves, yeah. We're gonna leave this one and I'm gonna get the pizza firing van. That is sweet. So we can have the actual Mutant Mayhem van here. That is a big pickup there. So I mean, dude, we have gone crazy with Mutant Mayhem already. We got that one right there. We got the Michelangelo glow in the dark. I know I only collect TMNT Mikey stuff, but I mean, this has Mikey in it. Then you wanna TMNT pizza? Yes, I do. Grab me that. Yes, absolutely, I do. Turtle Power Gummy Pizza. That's a for sure pickup. By Frankfurt. Shout out to Frankfurt for making all of our childhood dreams come true. Hey, and then, dude, we also have to. Dude, didn't even know about this guy. Yeah, I really didn't. I don't know who Master Bruce is. No, yeah, Whiplash. He's actually um, one of the, the newest additions to the Turtles team. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Masters of the Universe, though. And then we have these ones. I was trying these? to see if there was another one that isn't. It's like... all Leo. <laughs> They're like, this is all you get. Fine. There probably other was, but there's just Leo apparently is like, you guys have told me that Leo, I thought I was like, the only one, like, so we did a video where we were showing that, like, the only stuff that was left over was Leonardo based stuff. You guys actually told me, too, that, like, he's just kind of like the lesser popular of the ones that he's just apparently he's the leader, he's kind of a buzzkill. I don't know, that kind of makes me like him a little more because nobody else likes him. But if you guys like Leo, let me know down below. And if you don't, then that's okay, too. I mean, obviously, it's okay. Look at this massive big that is sweet. sewer layer. It's like a uh, Imagine X vibes. Look at how big this is. That kid's actually six foot, it's over 25 feet. <laughs> 25 inches tall. That is a huge thing. I mean, that would take so long yes. to build up. I don't even know. Maybe once we finish up the accent section, that is slowly becoming more of a Ninja Turtle section than an Avatar section. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's okay, though. I mean, it's not a terrible thing. It was going to be very Avatar themed, but I don't know. Maybe because it's all the hype of the Ninja Turtles right now. Maybe when the Avatar movie comes out, that'll change. But like, I'm almost kind of thinking about like, doing kind of like a sewer vibe, like put graffiti and Ooh. kind of like give it. I feel like it would match the room better than like an air temple. You know, it'd be sick if there was space to do like a secondary shelf above it and like have that like the sky you know yeah. and then the bottom parts like like underground ah i see so the top the avatar of it, the is avatar, up top and, and then the bottom below. is sewers all what do you guys think do you think we should make the theming of the sky loft that we're doing in the cavern trust me you can't see it right now but we are working on it behind the scenes should we do more of like a graffiti like new york s style or should we go with the air temple style you guys let us know we'll try to figure it out but i feel like this vibe would just look so good in the cavern you yeah, know because it just fits in so well with everything. Like, Avatar is amazing, but I feel like the Air Temple vibe doesn't really fit with everything we've got going on in there. But this just blends in so well with everything. Yeah. So you guys will decide, I mean, but I'm, I'm definitely leaning towards this right now, but I like your idea of having like a little bit of a sky area too. It's tough, it's a real tough decision. <laughs> yes, we're so excited for water. Sorry, I got excited because I couldn't find any that weren't like I know, dang. I'm excited too. It's just funny. Oh, like, so sick. We would literally never be this excited for water. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we're in the desert or something. <laughs> All right, me and Mitchell may or may have not went through every single bottle here, but I think we found the best condition ones for the path waters. I mean, they're the same design, just purple, and then you got the green one here. This one's a little bit, but this one's literally spotless. There was more purple ones than there were green ones. There's a whole case of green. There's two see. purples back here, two green here, but the green ones are just not it today. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna grab these ones right here though, but only two dollars too. I mean, just a win-win. I mean, you get water too. I mean, that's like I guess a third win. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Yes. I see the coolest shirt. Yes. Oh my god. Why is there so many cool shirts right now? There's the Rowdy Rough Boys. I. This, oh, that's a sick sweater. If it wasn't for the color, I would definitely pick this guy up, but I will stain that within hours. This though. That is too cool. This I cannot leave. Do they have? Oh, look at the back. Oh, yes. Where's Petri? <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. This is literally, how did it come from like the start of this being like one of the driest hunts to being one of the sickest hunts ever? I got an XO. Yeah, I'm gonna get this double X too, just so I have, you know, comfy, if it shrinks, everything like that. Man, Dude, that is too cool. Heck yes. Okay, so we looked around the rest of the store. We couldn't find anything. This right here, I think, is the perfect item to end it on. This has got to be one of my favorite shirts so far. It's literally, it's like one of those shirts where it's going to be hard for me because like, I almost want to collect it. It's so sick. I feel like, I don't know. Yeah, it's like. But at the same point, I want to wear it. So I may end up wearing it too. I don't know. We'll see. But right now, we're going to pick it up and I think we're going to head on out of here. That was an amazing haul. So we are back from Target and wow, that was an incredible hunt. So much damage. MNT stuff. I am so pumped about it. And we got some sponge, like I said. So let's sit on down, check everything out. I'm starting off with this guy right here. The oh, TMNT yeah. pizza. I was going to keep it sealed, but we're going to be keeping a lot of stuff sealed today. So I want to open up something and I want to open up this because we've technically tried every TMNT pizza during this release. We've tried the Walmart one, tried the Pizza Hut one. So might as well try the gummy one to say that when this movie came out in this era, I tried every TMNT pizza that was available, including the gummy. So let's go ahead and sit on down and try it out. 800 calories for a whole pizza. Wow. That's still way less than a regular pizza. That's it. Yeah, true. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's sit on down and try out a slice here. And then me and Mitchell are going to open some Pokemon cards here. We got some stuff to check out as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's do it. Okay, so now at this point, Mitchell, we've done so much TMNT content. I feel like you have to know them. Okay, so I'm going to cover all their names. Go from top to bottom quick. Donnie, Mikey, Rap, and Leo. Yes, <laughs> that's my dog. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got uh, yeah, what is yeah, happening? doing something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Mitchell officially knows all of the turtles. Asked me like a year ago. No way. <laughs> <laughs> So let's pop this open and boom, Ooh. there it is. I actually love in the actual movie, there's a scene where Splinter is trying to get, it's so sad because the kids, you know, the, the turtles, they keep wanting to leave the sewer, understandably. You know, they live in the sewer their entire life. Their whole existence is in the sewer. And Splinter ends up throwing them like a whole pizza party sponsored by Pizza Hut. I don't know how they get pizza, but I assume they just like order it and then they just like, whew, <laughs> you know, and just take it. Maybe they pay them. But nonetheless, he throws a pizza party in order to get the boys to stay home and to kind of like, you know, he felt bad for keeping them inside of there all the time. And they don't even eat the pizza. They just leave because they have to go on a mission. Oh, wow. And then Splinter's just there like sad with all these pizzas. And it made me sad. So I would have stayed with Splinter and at least had a slice or two. And then maybe left, you know, the sewer. <laughs> Okay, so we have the pizza right here. Let's unseal it. Boom, there it is. And it's already pre-cut. Better cutting job than most pizza places do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you usually have to cut it, usually. Dude, they are so soft. Oh, wow. It's like cartoon pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and take a slice. You'll be like surprised how soft it is. Pepperoni, whoa. Isn't it so soft? What the heck? It's like the squishiest gummy I've ever had. So the flavor oh, is smells so good. It smells kind of like a gummy Krabby Patty, if I'm being real. Well, it's Frankfurt, I'd hope so. <laughs> it's Frankfurt. Oh, dude, that bottom is pineapple. This is literally a pizza version of the Krabby Patty. I was just gonna say, this reminds me of the Krabby Patty bun, too. On like the big jumbo Krabby Patties. This is like a little more marshmallowy though. Yeah, a little softer. All right, I love the texture of it. I love the texture and the bendability of it. Let's try it out, though. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's scrumptious. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, rating for this though. Um, on a personal scale for me, I give it a, a eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Eight out of, eight out of ten slices. It's pretty good. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. So that's what we'll meet it at eight though. Eight Pizza Hut pizzas out of ten. <laughs> and they gave us the box. <laughs> and, and they gave us the box this time for real. I'm gonna have to get another one of these to get into the collection. But I just wanted to say that I tried the gummy pizza. And to be 100% honest, I could see this being the next Frankfurt product that sticks around like the Krabby Patty. So I'm gonna say, I'm calling it now. Maybe we'll get smaller variations of them. I could see the TMNT pizza staying around just like the SpongeBob Krabby Patty does. Krabby Patties are around all year round, not just marketed for a specific movie. So I could definitely see this one sticking around. Calling it now. Maybe I'm gonna be wrong. You know, hopefully I'm not because these are delicious. 
but 8 out of 10. Okay, so next up here, one of the things we like to do on this channel is a little nostalgia for us. Because growing up, we were really into Pokemon cards and also Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And many of you guys probably grew up opening this stuff too. We're going to be both opening up some packs here. I have mine. Here's Mitchell's. And we're going to see who of us can get the best fools right here on the show. Both of us went for the Eevee one, which I think was a good choice. It was either Eevee or Houndstone. So. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I think Eevee was a better choice. Definitely the most nostalgic as well too. And he's also calling for family. That's sad, but I hope the family arrived I and mean, we got a lot of them. And the a lot family of family is Charizards. Yeah, call it that family, not your huge myriad of evolutions. Okay, so I am gonna go first. Or oh, you know what? We'll go back to back and we'll see who gets oh, the best oh. pack here. So I have my Eevee right there, which they now have these silver borders from Japan. Which is freaking beautiful, man. Fire. Okay. So I'm gonna use my non-Charizard pack here. Let's go with the Tyranitar. Alright, let's check it out. So we got Fighting Fist. Toadstool, Houndor, Combi, Diglett, Flozel, Wishy Washy. It was Wishcash. <laughs> Wishcash. Kangaskhan, Paldean. Oh, that's Quagmire. Or Quagmire. Quagmire. <laughs> that's Quagmire. And oh, that is adorable. That is so cute. We have one more behind it, but that is beautiful, honestly. A uh, trainer art, uh, art gallery. Yeah, that's sick. Of Kleppa? That is so freaking cute. That's None. one of my favorite cards, honestly. Oh. Yeah, I, I like that Scarlet and Violet has done three now. I know, dude. I am a huge fan of this card. Like, it's beautiful. That is really, really cute. Okay, the Kleppa card. I gotta sleeve that guy out. That's gonna be hard to beat. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, Mitchell. I already see something shiny. Yeah, but that's how they all look now with the new packs. All right. We got Dilbert. We got Cub Chew. We got Spoink. We got Tinmo. Dynamo. We got Soul Rock. Houndoom. Granbull. Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto. And. Oh! oh! Come on. Damn. That is sick. Ah, oh, that's going to be hard to beat. I already lost. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't even know what's in the other two packs, but. <laughs> we got Tyranitar EX. I'm yeah. pretty sure I didn't get anything that good. We We'll see, but damn, that is fire. And perfect for this channel. We got the Reptar of Pokemon here. And man, the glitter on that is incredible. He's like wearing a crown, basically, yeah. All right, so we pull there. All right. I don't know about this. We got Larvesta, Rowlet. See how my confidence is just dwindled. No, you're good, you're good. Smello, Grandpa, Sharpedo, Espeon, Cleffa. Darumaka. Oh, that's not as cool, but that's still sick. We got Doxtricity, yeah. Yeah. All right, next pack for me, Tyranitar pack. Ooh, what if we get Tyranitar again? I guess I can't be mad. <laughs> All right, we got Gloom, Bronzor, Snubble, this Cap guy, the Trio, there's Houndstone. Houndstone, Diggersby, Glimmint, Togekiss. <gasps> oh! What the hell, Mitchell? Dude, what the <laughs> heck? <laughs> There he is! I would have never pulled this off camera, I swear. <laughs> that would have never happened. Just start opening stuff on Holy camera. Holy crap. Isn't that V card you wanted? That is insane. <laughs> there we well, have that, it. That's hard to beat. <laughs> Ryan will have the on-screen value for you guys. Oh my god. That's just what happens when Mitchell opens cards. And then behind that... The oh, basic fire Yeah, who cares about that? That is crazy. I'll let oh you take it from there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would never pull this on any other day. You see, that's the thing, dude. Just have me buy the same thing and get nothing, and that increases <laughs> your chances of getting something great. Oh my gosh. I wish I had a sleeve, man. I'm shaking. That there. was insane. Yeah, well, wait till you see this. <laughs> I hope you get one. There's, <laughs> yeah, a gold, right. there's a gold one, so you could pull a better card. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. We got Glimmit. That's where I'm starting. We got Dabble. Glimmit, <laughs> Dabble, Lechonk, Barbach uh, Barchomp, Bar Wishcash, <laughs> <laughs> Floatzel, Umbreon, Bone Sweet. Pidgey. Entei. Entei. Wow. Wow. Big Entei. Whoa. Shout out to Entei. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But I'm still happy for Mitchell. Shout out to him. Oh my goodness. I just can't believe that. You've got to pull in every pack. Uh, That's only, why only we call him Money Mitch. On Off screen, I pull like nothing. On screen, apparently. That's my <laughs> luck right now. He's got one more pack here. So it's just going to keep going. Target it. Now you're going to get the gold one. we got Pontiard, Lilla, Grubbar. Crawler, Pulty Guys, Toll Scroll, Nine Tails, Chandelure, Salazzle. Slazzle. Hey, I got an Entei too. <laughs> All right, since you have an Entei, I have an Entei. I think that, that that's just perfect. <laughs> so since we got this, can I also get that? <laughs> awesome. Oh my and God. Hyper Missile, either way. That is crazy. And I used to say, I pulled it. You yeah. got it. <laughs> but I, I was there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so now we have the TMNT stuff to go through, baby. So let's go ahead and get started here. We have the Michelangelo three pack exclusive glow in the dark figurine here. We have him as a baby right there, which is so cute because I noticed it has a little spray painted on like orange, you know, so that way you know which one's which. I don't know if Splinter maybe did that in order to be able to tell them apart maybe. But then we have right here the cutest version, which is them as kind of like toddlers. There's a scene in the movie that is so awesome and Splinter is just trying to like keep track of all of them and they're all just doing their own crazy thing <laughs> and Raphael's like missing a tooth like at a, as a baby and then of course you've got Mikey there as well with his classic nunchucks that we are still on the search for and hopefully we'll find soon here something is terrifying about a toddler swinging around nunchucks yeah you know what that's also probably like the most dangerous weapon of the three to yourself <laughs> like you can have a sword and like yeah you could cut yourself but like that is a thing where it's like oh you're supposed to be going forward with it nunchucks are constantly coming back at you and at your wrist constantly. As somebody who's used nunchucks before, they are definitely the most devastating to yourself sometimes. <laughs> but this one is also glow in the dark. Let's go ahead and turn on the black light here and check out the glow on our glow in the dark Mikey here. I'm excited to see glow in the box or if it's just gonna be one of them. Okay, so Mitchell's charging them up here. I'm gonna unplug the light right now. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh, Whoa! Damn, dude. Those are so sick. <laughs> that is crazy. I love it. I was thinking literally we turned it off. I'm like, these are the Ninja Turtles. Their whole thing is ooze, radiation, mutant, well, mayhem. So they have to have a strong glow. And they do. Like, the camera doesn't even do it justice. They actually are, like, radiant. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> they look beautiful. I think personally, my favorite has got to be the Mini Mikey, the one in the middle. Of course, the other ones are good, too. But, I mean, he's just so adorable there. Okay, see what I'm saying? Like, now I'm really kind of glad that I chose this and, like, the bus over that box of figures because they wouldn't have flown like that. Right, yeah, I gotta give that like an easy 10 out of 10 for that product. That I'm thinking, sick. Yeah, I'm thinking 10 glow-in-the-dark oozes out of 10 for this guy right here. And you know what? The only thing I would probably would want to do is if they had all the turtles at like their full size, all four of them glow-in-the-dark. Ooh, yeah. I mean, maybe they do sell them individually glow-in-the-dark too, like different characters. But having them all like the main main teenager ones together would have been perfect. They're not called the adult mutant ninja turtles. <laughs> <laughs> They're called teenage mutant ninja turtles. Turtles. Even though some of them look quite old. Oh yeah, the Michael Bay, they look like they're 46 and they've had a 10 year commitment to LA Fitness. Those do not look like teenagers, but yes, these do, for sure. Okay, so next up here we have the Nerf gun. And this thing is beautiful. And I love the graffiti vibe. Just the entire, like, look at all the products. Like this aesthetic, this vibe that they brought for the new Ninja Turtles movie is one of my favorites. I've already given Nickelodeon so many props for making the Ninja Turtles feel like they were always Nickelodeon property. But even more so with this right here like I just think like this vibe is just one of my favorite aesthetics for a movie his just in history if you look at it and how it blends in with the room like it blends in really well in here I feel like especially with the Nickelodeon side yeah like that just fits so good in here so like I feel like personally we're working on the airloft you know which is gonna take us some time we're still too you know we're working on it pretty much every week a little bit here and there of, of course doing everything else we have to do but eventually it's gonna get done it's gonna be sick in here I love this room it's my dream room so being able to add that layer to it's gonna be amazing but we might have to make a space over on this side then for the avatar so there's gonna be plushies on that side we'll have to get more baths for plushies because i think that if you guys let me know what do you guys want to see a vibe of more like an air temple-esque loft or i'm starting to feel like just go tmnt crazy you guys let me know and it doesn't mean the avatar won't get a section it just might have to be somewhere else maybe an avatar air temple shelving up there or something like that we can work on. But the blaster, it's sick itself. You've got on that side, you've got Raphael and Leonardo, which I'm starting to learn very quickly after my, you know, maybe two, three years of Ninja Turtles fandom that for all time, it seems like Raphael is kind of people's favorite. Like even if you look at the promo image, he's not the leader, but yet he's like the one at the front there. Of course, that's not everybody. Everybody has their own favorite turtle, but what I've gathered, it seems like Raphael is overall like majority of people's or a lot of people's favorite. But this is a dream collaboration. I love the fact that it's a Nerf gun, which is our Already has an orange vibe to it too. Or Nerf is orange, so the bleeds in perfectly. And then not just that, one of my favorite Nerf guns they ever released is called the Hammer Shot. It's just an awesome revolver pistol. It's just really clean, and fun to shoot your friends with. <laughs> <laughs> and this is basically a remodeled, like kind of modern version of that same one. And since you already have the Reptar's Roar Nerf edition and the collection, I don't need to open that one. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then on the back side, you've got Mikey and also Donnie as well, too. I wish Mikey would have been on the more displayable side, but either way, an incredible piece here and an awesome collaboration. Okay, so then next up here, we have the actual party wagon here or the pizza fire van. And this one is really cool. They had a few different options there. They had the one with the, the actual figures in it, but they also had a remote control one as well, too, that I saw that was released. But this one is the kind of the old school one. The original party wagon is like super expensive. So I wanted to be able to have one version of it here in the collection so i'm glad that i got this one right here the pizza fire van and it's obviously one that's got a gatlin gun on the side for michelangelo it just shoots off pizzas it literally shoots pizza if pizza hut Domino's, any of them did this they could probably big bring back the 30 minute delivery or your money back yeah you now you could just shoot that right into the freaking mail slot you're just like oh i wonder if it's here <sighs> <laughs> but I love the fact that they featured this car in the actual movie. In the 2007 movie, I think that Michelangelo just drives it around with like a inflatable turtle head on top because he does like parties and stuff like that. And the original one was very much like an A-team kind of like uh, band that was like, you know, had all their satellites in there, blasters. I love that this one is a classic pizza launcher. Like that's just super fun. It's a classic TMNT of like bringing the grunginess of like real warfare but then kidifying it by making it pizzas. <laughs> so, huge fan of this, and I'm glad we picked it up to kind of represent this whole thing. It comes with eight pizza discs and the Pizza Fire van. Just a perfect item to kind of represent this whole collection without having to buy every single character since we're not going to. I think it'll look fantastic with like, you know, the Mikey on top of it, some of the other stuff as well. And I think Mitchell even agrees, this is one of the best vibes I've ever had for turtles. I didn't know they drove their van upside down though. They're the turtles, they can do anything, Mitchell. They're ninja turtles and they're teenagers. Could you be a ninja when you were a teenager? I don't think so. I wanted to be Naruto so bad. I wanted to too, but I also wanted to be a turtle and none of those things were possible. <laughs> okay, the next up here we have the Path Waters here, which of course we're gonna add to the collection as well. We have the SpongeBob and Patrick Path Waters in the collection. So I figured we might as well pick these ones up as well too. We have the Ninja Turtles, which is pretty much the same bottle, right? They're just different colors. Yeah, it's just, do you want the purple bricks or the green bricks? Yeah, I think I like the purple one better. No, I like the green one better. They're both great. <laughs> but look how good purple blends in with orange. I never realized how good purple blends in with orange until this collaboration, you know? Like until this film and Nickelodeon buying Ninja Turtles. Like green, purple, and orange just works together. Yeah, I mean, having a purple section with bricks wouldn't be bad at all. Like I never thought purple and orange, oh that works. But it does, it really does. Okay, so awesome. And we, we looked hard to find the most pristine bottles there are. Now I just must guard them with the rest of my life and make sure they never get dented again and taste the power. Turtle power. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and the last item here, let's go ahead and try it on. That is the SpongeBob t-shirt here. An awesome pickup, a huge fan of the reference in itself. Just a beautiful piece. And I can't wait to add it to the collection. You may see me wear it around winter time, but if you don't, just know that I'm collecting it for sure. Huge pickup though. Let's go ahead and try this one on. I think that's actually it for today. An amazing, amazing hunt. That was just a thrilling day. That was a summer much excitement going on. This is a great day to be alive. We got to freaking go get some turtle stuff. We got candy. Mitchell pulled a freaking banger Charizard. We got a little sponge. sponge. Yeah. Literally everything you could ask for in a hunt. So hit the like button if you guys haven't already. So we're going to try on the Pat Gar and SpongeBob shirt. Let's go ahead and do it. Three, two, one, hit it. And boom, it is on. I think that color looks great. Oh uh, yeah, I love it. It's a whole like different style. Like I don't usually see this color below me. Yeah. It's usually like, a darker color, especially when we're filming because it just works better on camera. But this green just looks awesome. And it's like a, that's a natural green. It's gonna be very like nature vibes. It has a back look. Oh, that is so sick. Perfect. That is such okay. a sick design. I'm gonna give this one a, I'm gonna give this nine foundings of fire out of 10. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to smack that like like button subscribe if you're new here and also don't forget we are on patreon is the number one way to keep the fire lit on comfort cartoons so go check it out it comes with an extended version of this video and every other video that we upload in addition to that a bunch of other perks like early release videos behind the scenes stuff just go check it out and also don't forget to go get yourself something for the cheap or for free on whatnot where i'm streaming every single friday but not just that you get 15 bucks off your first pick up there which they have so much new TMNT stuff people are dropping up there for dirt cheap and you get $15 off so you can get some stuff for free over there with your $15 coupon do 
not miss out on the opportunity of free collector cash, go check it out down below. And I will see you guys over here in this amazing video that I know you're gonna love. And as always, Rep Pack, I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Adios and... <gasps>